I became president of my fraternity just because I felt, if not me, then who? I wanted to take things kind of into my own hands and be able to leave a lasting impact. Morrison's philosophy definitely popped into my mind um, as something that influenced me and gave me the courage to be able to stand up and say that I, this is something I wanted to do. So currently we're in St. Louis, Missouri, and we're here for the President's Leadership Conference that our GHQ is hosting for us. Here at Fidel, we always talk about becoming the greatest versions of ourselves. Here at the President's Leadership Conference, we're going to be able to be given the skills to create the greatest versions of our chapters. The President's Leadership Conference is our pinnacle of the Fidel Leadership and Ethics Academy experience. You're listening from top CEOs that are here giving us great advice. We start out most of our programs with a general session speaker on a specific topic related to their experience and role as a president. My program is called A Conversation About Hazing. One of the most important things you can do is talk about it. Go back to your campuses and talk about it. So I definitely want to take the things that Tracy said and speak to them about my chapter and make sure that everything that we do is in the best interest of each other, keeping everyone safe. Then we go into our small chapter groups and they have a facilitator that's a volunteer of Phyllis Theta that helps them work through everything and facilitates our curriculum. It's definitely been really interesting going from like these like general sessions and then like going into these like small groups. I was very excited to be able to talk to other chapters like their leaders and see the strategies that they use. Just how to implement strategies and plan for future events. Not only that, but the opportunity to listen to guys that have the exact same motivation and drive that you do. Could you say that about the guys in your chapter? Can you look them in the eyes and know that they believe what you believe? At a minimum, you've got to have that on your executive team. But there's also three words that I like to say are very important. It's that they are accountable to one another, they provide us transparency, and that they trust themselves, their chapter, their volunteers, their advisors, as well as the general headquarters. We have the resources to really become the greatest fraternity in the world. You just have to step up and really absorb everything that you learned from PLC and take it back home and lead your chapters to success. Overall, the chapter president is the one that should be pushing the rest of the members. But you need to know what you want from your members and how to get there. Leading a large group of college men isn't something that's easy takes a lot of courage. For me it's drive because I see that the president has to be driven and if you're driven all the other things kind of come inherently and fall into place. If I'm driven I'm going to be focused on leading. If I'm driven I'm going to be focused on doing exactly what's best for my chapter. If I'm driven I'm going to make sure that I wake up every day trying to make something great happen. This seems like such a once in a lifetime event. I don't know if I'll ever get another opportunity to be in a room of Fidel's 200 strong like this. Everybody has a goal on where they want to be, but you as the president have the responsibility to get the chapter there. I mean, you look at what we're doing with Fidel 2020 and how much we're trying to improve our chapter as a whole, and now how we're still continuing to move forward and not rely on what we did in the past, I just think that's such a powerful movement.